Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about my top three stock picks for the big month of January 2022. Now, I know we closed out the year on kind of a rough note. The month of December was a weird one, but I'm feeling confident and I'm trusting that things are going to start looking up in the new month of January and as we progress through Q1, quarter one of 2022. All right, so new month, new year, new gains. Let's get it. I'm excited to talk to you guys about the three names I've chosen today. Talk fundamentals, talk technicals, and uh, discuss with you guys why I'm very bullish on these stocks. All right, but before we dive into it, first things first, I want to ask you, what is your number one stock pick for January of 2022? I know we're discussing three here today, but if you were to only choose one, if you could only narrow down one single stock to hold going through January, you can't sell it, what would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That means a lot too, all right? So let's quickly go over the breakdown of the video, what I want to discuss with you guys, and then we'll dive into the specifics to kick it off. We'll go over this little image write-up that I made for you guys titled Top 3 Stocks of January. This write-up consists of the three names we're going to be talking about today. A brief description of what the company is, because that's obviously very important. The charts are good as well. We, of course, have to integrate the fundamentals and technicals into these arguments, and I have done so. So, uh, again, the name, ticker symbol of the company, followed by a brief description of that company and or stock, followed by a quick summary of why I'm personally bullish on it. And of course, as we dive into the charts, I will expand on that from a fundamental perspective. All right. So uh, lastly, on this write up, which we will cover one by one and then supplement each each description of the company itself, the stock itself, the ticker with looking at the charts. So number one is Vuzix. You guys can see these. I'm not spoiling anything. So like Vuzix, we'll read over this, talk about the price target. And after we cover the price targets and each of the descriptions on these, we'll hop into the back. So cover Vuzi, hop into the back, cover plug, cover plug on the charts, etc., etc. as we move through the video. Okay. So that will be how we break down my three stock picks. Again, this is just brief summaries. I will dive into more details about the fundamental of these companies while we discuss the technicals on the charts in the back so again behind us to complement the fundamentals of course we got to talk technicals talk price targets this is trading view where we'll be talking the three names we're going to be discussing today from a technical perspective and again justifying those price targets those end of month price targets you can see on the write-up but before we do that that's pretty much the gist of the video you guys i do want to read this and i did make a video about this a couple of days ago if you guys just want to go watch that go check that out talking about the january effect so i do want to read this this was in the intro to one of my newsletters a couple of days ago so let's remind ourselves of what the january effect is this reinforces just kind of my bullish sentiment around the markets and growth sectors within the market uh in general not only these three stocks but the entirety of the market as we move into the new year okay so the january effect is a perceived seasonal increase in stock prices during the month of January. Analysts generally attribute this rally to increase to an increase in buying, which follows the drop in price that typically happens in December when investors engaging in tax loss harvesting, been talking about that a lot lately, uh, to offset realized capital gains prompt a sell-off. Okay, so again, everyone trying to offset the taxes they have to pay in 2022 by accepting capital losses on their losing positions, which we are seeing a lot of, um, even still at, in the in the last days of the year i think we're still seeing that across the market so if these sell-offs have been scaring you that's all right that's the game i don't blame you but this is a big reason this is still happening but the january effect i think will be exceptionally powerful this year and go watch my last video where i kind of dive into why that is in a little more specifics but another possible explanation is that investors use year-end cash bonuses christmas money to purchase investments the following month while this market anomaly has been identified in the past the january effect seems to have largely disappeared uh, as its presence became known uh that's a little caveat at the end but i personally believe that the january effect is going to be exceptionally exceptional this year and uh, i'm excited to see if i'm right with that one okay so because remember you guys this is all just my opinion uh, i do do due diligence and i do do my best to, to bring you guys as well curated content as i possibly can but at the end of the day this is just my opinion so just keep that in mind all right 
Anyway, if you want one of these bad boys, this is the intro to the newsletter. If you want two of these in your email inbox every trading day during market hours, along with a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio, you want to know how I'm trading all of these. You want to know when I'm buying the dips, my specific calls on not only these, but many other plays within the crypto portfolio, uh, not crypto portfolio, but in my portfolio, call options, put options, cryptocurrencies as a crypto portfolio, stock positions, everything that's in my personal portfolio. There's like 50 to 60 given positions in there at any given time um, go check that out that's the first link down below 15 bucks a month 40 bucks for every three months and again you get a daily newsletter during trading hours and then after hours after the market's closed i go in there go over like four or five charts every single day that i feel are important to share with you guys and do solo analyses on each of those okay so once again, that's the first link down below. Uh, really means a lot if you guys check that out. Do my best to make that worth your hard-earned money. And last shout out before we dive in, you guys, exclusive access to the Discord. If you do want 50% off of this, this will go only until New Year's, so a couple more days. Probably won't happen again for until next holiday season. Holiday 50, when you check out, when you purchase this for 50% off exclusive access. That link is going to be down below as well. Let's get into this, but again, got to kick it off with the ride up Vuzix is number one this is my number one seed in my top stock picks of january Vuzi is an ar slash vr hardware company they make glasses that display augmented reality and virtual reality prioritizing in augmented reality that just announced a massive deal with verizon they also announced something else i will go into depth i'm going to be doing a solo analysis on Vuzi in a couple of days a couple videos from now you will see that so just hold tight for that one but just announced a massive deal with Verizon, that in itself hyper bullish. It also benefits from the overall metaverse trend. All right, AR, VR, augmented reality. Oculus was just the best selling present of Christmas. That just shows you the trend everything is heading in. If NFTs, if the metaverse, Mana, Sand, what we've been talking about a lot on this channel in the crypto realm, if that seems washed, if that seems old, that's not the case, you guys. This is the beginning of a very significant trend, and I'm very excited to see where this metaverse trend goes and where it takes Vuzi in the process, which I think is a ridiculous, like ridiculously undervalued stock at these prices. Okay, so my January end of month price target, I should have said end of month, February price target pretty much, is going to be $24. Now, let me also caveat this before diving into the charts that these are very optimistic. I'm an optimistic guy making optimistic price targets. Do not count on these to come true because these are optimistic price targets. But this is just talking to you guys about what's possible in the best case scenario. And I will talk to you guys about a little more reasonable price targets as we move through the month. But $24, $25 once the market catches on to Vuzi, I think is so cheap. And I think we can easily see price targets like that in the first couple of months, again, in Q1 of 2022. Okay, so if this doesn't, if these don't come through true in January, then February, March, Q1 of 2022, quarter one, I think is very likely for all three of the price targets that I'm going to be talking about. Okay, so Vuzix, from a technical perspective, is not looking good it's actually looking horrible vuzix uh, again if you guys have seen the videos i've made on vuzi in the past we followed it over here their last earnings call was great that catalyzed a nice big move up followed by a beautiful channel since then over since since the middle of november so over a month now this thing has just been progress like steadily bleeding out but now where we're at at eight dollars and 35 cents is the lowest level we've been at like it, it it's been over a year since we've been this low since this big move up over here at the end of 2020 i mean vuzix is basing out right at the base of where where it, where it was right before we rallied all the way up to freaking 32 33 dollars in april of just this year okay of 2021 at least if, if not if you're watching this in 2022 but since then vuzi has seen more than that right there a 74 percent pullback a 74 percent correction since its peak back in the month of april and uh where we're at now considering vuzi has a market cap of 530 million dollars this thing seems so cheap again you guys they just marked a deal they just inked a deal with verizon they just made a huge order worth like four hundred thousand dollars with a fortune 50 company again we'll dive into the specifics um in the video in a few days but vuzix is just has so 
many things on its side. It has so many tailwinds behind it that will push it forward as we move into the new year. And best case scenario, once again, I do think it's very possible that Vuzix retests his previous line of support, the previous line of support, and this line of resistance on the previous ascending channel that Vuzi was in in the beginning, uh, uh, in the first couple of weeks of November, do intersect on exactly February 1st at $24.50, representing from current levels at 835, 195% price increase, which is almost a 3x. Now, again, that's very bullish, but Vuzix has a lot of very, very bullish fundamentals on its side. So for Vuzi, hey, maybe we go sideways for a little while. Maybe this, again, maybe we don't see $25 until March, um, until the end of Q1. But I think for Vuzi, it's only a matter of time before investors realize the promise and the potential of this company from both an operational and just sheer just momentum perspective okay so very excited about Vuzi. i also do think it's likely by the end of the month again if uh momentum really or if eyeballs really just again understand what's going on with Vuzi from a fundamental perspective i do think it's possible that we come up here and bounce to a previous ceiling that was set back here uh used as kind of the dead cap bounces from the high in april this would bring us to about 19 dollars and 50 cents just under a psychological even of 20 dollars so uh again very very bullish 24.50 bullish price target but i'm a bullish guy and i'm very excited to see what happens for Vuzi as we move through 2022 all right so let's move on to number two uh, number two that is plug power let's read through this guy all right so plug power ticker symbol plug plug engages in the development of hydrogen fuel cell systems that replace conventional batteries this thing looks great on the charts okay so the big argument with plug uh, and a big reason that I've been trading a lot in the portfolio, you guys would know that, is because this thing looks amazing on the charts. And we'll talk about why that is. But my January, February price target for plug is going to be $50, representing plus 80% from where we're currently at, at just under 28 bucks. All right. So plug. Again, a lot of you guys would know Plug. Plug is a very prominent player within the green energy, uh, just the green energy realm. Maybe the single largest player within this hydrogen fuel cell green energy landscape. Uh, it's it's also a very well known player. You see it talked about on uh, CNBC. I know Kramer talks about this a lot. But this thing has a market cap of sixteen billion dollars, so it is larger for kind of the small cap green energy sector. But um, it, it is still a small stock that represents a lot of hype and a lot of momentum within a new and very promising sector that is green energy that still has the potential for growth very fast. I mean, this over here, you know, we'll kick it off long term and then we'll zoom in a little bit and I'll talk to you guys about why I think it's possible to see this 80% move up within the span of a month, as you guys can guess here. But from a technical perspective, where we're at at the time of making this video, Plug over the past couple of days has bounced multiple times over a very, very significant line of support on this beautiful long term ascending channel, okay? So uh, it's, it's also important to see the uh, the pullback that Plug has experienced. Okay, so again, green energies, EVs, a lot of small caps that we know and love around here on the channel. Since February, since since mid to late February, a lot of these when, when so much small caps and hyper growth stocks saw their all time highs. We have seen again Plug also saw a seventy five percent pullback to the lows, but now we're bouncing back. Now we're making a comeback. Plug from a fundamental perspective, also has a lot, a lot of analyst coverage. If you look on your Robinhood app, I believe it's like 25 analysts covering the stock with with, a, with an 80% buy rating and 20% hold. That's very, very impressive. So people whose job it is to analyze stocks from a fundamental and financial perspective deem that to be the case. And that's, that's very bullish. That in itself is a good sign of a fundamental value stock. Okay, so plug looking very promising. Again, since the bounce, since we based out over here, um, that 75% correction from the highs, plug is now in a very nice ascending channel on the long-term time horizon, okay? So uh, plug, again, began this channel way back in May. Since then, highs and lows, creating this nice um, kind of organic, a little slow though, ascending channel up until recently. But nonetheless, it is an ascending channel. This is a very solid line of resistance. I love to see that over the past couple of days, this line of resistance is holding true and uh, we are bouncing perfectly off of it at this point. So right now, and again, you guys in the newsletter portfolio group talking about the trades, talking about why I've been buying this over the past couple of days. This is why. Okay. So again, plug currently bouncing off a very significant long-term line of support on this ascending channel while also in the short term breaking uh breaking the line of resistance on this staggering uh downtrend i do think it's very likely that plug makes a run back up to the top okay back up to test the top line of resistance on this ascending channel 
And again, you guys, December was rough, but now the tax loss harvesting is over. New month, new year, new gains. As I said in the intro, I think it's very likely that plug does see a comeback. Do we see it this quick? I don't know. Again, maybe it takes a little bit longer, but in the case that we do see this, again, maybe maybe history rhymes a little bit you can see here from the base uh where plug was at here on october 6 to this peak right here on november 2nd that spanned 26 days plug saw a 77 percent move up and an 80 percent move up obviously isn't much greater than a 77 percent move up in that span of time okay so we've seen it before we've seen it very recently there's no reason i don't believe we won't see it again and uh in the case that plug does come up to test uh, this very, I mean, this very evident line of resistance on this very evident and visible ascending channel that would take us to $22. I'm sorry, $50 and 56 cents on February 1st, representing a gain of $22 or a gain of 80%. All right. So that's plug. Let's close it out with BRPM and or phase clan. Boom. BRPM phase clan. This is a merger. Okay, I'm sure you guys can assume that. Phase Clan is defined as an esports org, but I define it as a culture organization. It's the first of its kind in the market, and the merger with BRPM closes in Q1. Okay, so it's not exactly specified when this merger is supposed to close, but it is guaranteed that this will occur. This will go down. Deal sealed in Q1 of 2021. So at this point, it's pretty much just a matter of time when this deal closes. That deal closing. The official announcement of the merger being executed and going through officially, um, again, just lock, locking in the deal, is the very, very obvious catalyst for a big move up in BRPM. Because up until now, it's been sleepy. You guys would know that if you guys go watch my initial video talking about the FaZe Clan merger I posted months ago. I mean, we saw that big pop. It was super exciting. FaZe Clan, again is it plays within the gaming trend it plays within the metaverse trend phase is such a dominant cultural organization i remember seeing just recently this poll taken of like 13 to 18 year old uh, young kids that was like what's the most relevant team to you and it's like the lakers the rams uh and then phase clan was like above all of those so just the relevance that phase clan as an organization as a brand name as a cultural organization again more importantly has moving into the future that's what it's all about again you guys especially in this retail driven environment where where again story stocks kind of still still to this day rule the environment that's the reality um even if you're just talking about hype and the demographic that that brpm and phase clan targets from a retail trading perspective there's so many things here that could catalyze a big jump uh similar to Vuzi with this one it's just a matter of time it is obviously the uh, the announcement of the merger uh of the deal being sealed and that will catalyze a big move up at least it, it makes perfect sense for that to be the case in my mind so it's a waiting game this has been like the sleepiest stock on the planet uh bouncing i mean if you look at this we saw the big move up when the when the uh, merger was announced initially all the way back at the end of october since then pretty much nothing has happened at all but again that's why I do think from an asymmetric risk profile perspective, this thing physically cannot go much lower as a merger. They can't fall below $10. So that's the nature of a merger. But the upside, excuse me, potential here is enormous, especially as we move through Q1. And once that merger deal is announced officially, then I think this thing is going to the freaking moon. Okay, so we'll call it there, you guys. Again, let me know what you think about the three stocks that I chose. Again, this is just my opinion to you guys, but always know my money is where my mouth is. Uh, let me know what your guys' number one stock pick of January 2022 is and why that is, and I look forward to seeing your answers down below. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Happy New Year's to all of you. 2022 is going to be a good one. Just keep your head up always, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. So I'll also catch you downstairs in the comments. Until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.